Oh, she's looking at the colors on the TV. The graphics. It's like, what is that color? I think I can start seeing red. What, what little baby would you be in Game of Thrones? Ball, ball. Tell me why you like coming out here. Cause it's fucking beautiful. <laughs> nah, it's great. I gotta get outside. Change my whole perspective on that. My mental health, really. Once I started going hiking, climbing, and sort of reconnecting, I guess, with the world. Red rock. Spent my whole life in a city, or going from city to city. So it's definitely this is 15 minutes from my house, <laughs> which is super cool. It's sort of been pretty helpful for my mental health, especially since the last two years have been pretty crazy with Priscilla getting MS and having a miscarriage, and then um, just the whole birth thing which was for me somewhat traumatic for for Priscilla and for her I don't think it was too too terrible but for me it was pretty 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 tough and then finishing the record and then moving here and um, it's been good to like de be able to decompress let's see the trailhead and if not we can hear some rocks we can and some cactuses we kind of decided to move out here pretty quickly. Not just for us, but like for her. Well, I guess for my MS too, right? Yeah, definitely. Of the, the weather, weather in LA was like way too hot. And like the heat kind of affects my MS. And I don't know, we've been like talking about moving to Flagstaff for like a really, really long time. It's hard to raise a kid in the city. I mean, it's doable. But, but it's, it's not definitely, fun. It's definitely easier. <laughs> what? <laughs> is it fun? It's definitely easier when you can come and do stuff like this. You know, I want her to grow up going outside and... I mean, you had that opportunity kind of. Yeah. Like, yeah, where I grew up, I was able to like run around outside and in, in the, we didn't have woods like we have here, but you know, we were, I was able to run around in the woods and get dirty and do I thought that was like a big part of my childhood, which I think is super important. I mean, I know Buddy says that like, I almost died, and I guess I kind of like almost did. Um, but I was so high when she was born that like I didn't know what was happening. I actually felt like my water broke, and I know I said that before, but I really didn't think that there was anything wrong because like when you have a natural birth, you know, there's these hormones that like actually give you like this natural high, and you know, everyone was kind of like. I don't know, freaking out. I kept on giving people like thumbs up. I'm like, I'm good. I mean, the miscarriage affected me, but it really affected him because I think like you really start to realize how much of um, a part of you it is. And his process of mourning is writing. And you know, when you read the lyrics, it's actually, it's how he's feeling. Yeah, he like spruces it up and makes it like, you know, rhyme and shit, but at the end of the day, it's like actually how he's feeling and I think it's kind of his therapy and I don't think that's, you know, I think he needs it. I think he needs this band. I think he needs to write music. I don't, I don't think he's ever not writing music.